think we were all tired. Yeah, pff, dude, exhausting. What's going on in the world? These are unprecedented times. Like, there's more happening. That more has happened in the last eight years regarding geopolitics than had happened in the last 50 years. <laughs> and this is someone who's been following politics for the last 40 years. Right? So, all the way to 1980, so 40 years, 45 years, 40, 44 years. 40, no, I'll kick it up, 50 years. There's more that's happened in the last eight years than it has in the last 50 years, in my opinion. Uh, 20, uh, 2024, Wax Sox says, reminds me of 1980 to a certain degree, to a certain degree, but amplified, very much amplified. Like if you recall, in 1980s, we didn't have genocide taking place. Not that it was being televised that we knew about, right? Sure, Israel in 1982 helped the, uh, what do you call it, the militant Christian wing or their puppets in Beirut. Again, massacre 3,500, 3,800 Palestinians. Like they were guarding an area, like this is fucking letting the slime letting the fucking monsters guard the hen house right guarding an area supposed to be guarding an area that palestinians were there women children families innocent people and then they open the doors and let their puppet executioners go in to the area sabana i forget the names i'm very bad with names Massacred like 18, 30, 3,800, 3,500 Palestinian men, women, and children, right? But that was a massacre. It wasn't a genocide. Right now, we're witnessing a genocide. So that's the difference between 1980 and 2024, right? In 1980, it was a massacre of 3,500 people. In 2024, it's a full on genocide, ethnic cleansing televised live. The brutality of it, the brutality of it. Right. Meanwhile, you have low IQ, red rat, Zionist Christians, full on Zionist, stupid dumbasses supporting the genocide and the rest of humanity going, what the fuck? <laughs> right. That's the difference on the massacre on the genocide level between 1980 and 2024 on the economic front. Holy cow. We didn't have bricks back in 1980. It was just a petrodollar straight up. Just straight up petrodollar. That was the, the reserve currency. You needed to buy oil, trade, international trade. Petrodollar. That was it. You had no choice, right? Right now, there's a choice. There's decoupling from the U.S. petrodollar. Humongous, humongous. Back then, the national debt, uh, it was less than one trillion, if I recall correctly. Let's say during Reagan's time, it was one trillion. It was for the United States. It was, I forget what it was. Let's say 60% of GDP. Right now, the national debt, the interest on the U.S. national debt every three months is one trillion. Just, just the interest and the debt is 130% of GDP or something like that. Like huge difference, huge difference. Back then, the USSR was collapsing. Right now, the Western hegemonic power is collapsing. So on that front, we're seeing something happen. But these guys are monsters in the Western world. They're not going to let things go quietly into the night the way the Soviets did, the way Russia did. Russia Russia just overnight basically said, okay, USSR no more. Anybody think that the United States and the Western world is going to be, okay, we don't have control over all these things anymore it ain't gonna happen right Cheryl how are you doing hey hi Chicho hi all salutations salutations uh, 